Hi, you're watching Charter House TV, and we thought we'd have a sit down and, um, as we've mentioned in previous videos, do a bit of Charter House TV news, talking through some of the uh, popular product releases that have happened in uh, recently, and just general aquatic news. So, first of all, thanks for watching. Hope you're all safe and well. As I'm sure you're all aware, we're in the middle of uh, this COVID-19 pandemic still, and it looks like here in the UK that we may be heading into another spike. So um, rather glum start, but I thought that we would um, just give you an update on what we're doing here to try and make sure that business is as usual as possible, running as usual as possible. So you might remember first lockdown, obviously some of our staff are working from home. At the moment, it's not quite the case, but it looks like we're going to end up there. So firstly, thanks for your patience. Um, if you've been talking to our customer service team or getting support, um, if that's been affected in any way, then uh, thanks for you know understanding. But I think everything's kind of going okay now, and things yeah, we're getting we're getting back to normal. It's just a shame that this is we're sort of turning that corner again. Yeah, so we've been through it. So hopefully we know what you know the best route to go. Yeah, I mean last time some stock was affected. Um, obviously, goods moving around Europe and even the rest of the world were were delayed or wasn't wasn't as easy as it normally is. Um, but I'd like to say, you know, that at the moment, stocks are pretty good. Most companies have kind of got things in order and things are moving around. And with maybe what's around the corner, we just wanted you guys to know that we're making sure that we've got good stocks on the shelves so that whatever comes our way, we can make sure that we're still getting orders out to you and making sure that your tanks are running safe and healthy as they can be. Uh, while we're talking about movement of of things around the country you might have noticed as well on the livestock side of things that we've not had a lot of coral colonies over the last few months and that's been the same reason it's not been easy to get stock in or moving around the world we've had some frags frags have been okay and fish house team have been working hard and concentrating on on frags that we're growing in house but they've also been working hard on securing delivery slots which we have luckily now done and we've got a really big shipment of Australian corals that are sat resting in the fish house and they will be coming on the website in hopefully in the not too distant future once they're ready to go. And as soon as they are rested and ready to be listed on the website, we'll do a Coral Plus video as well, which we've done in the past. It's just good, a video, video footage of all of the corals that we're going to be listing. It just gives you a much better idea of what you're going to be buying when you're buying a colony of yeah. coral, a larger piece. Um, rather than just looking at a photo on the website, you get that 3D video um, and it just gives you a bit more of a feel of what you're looking yeah, at. Yeah, an idea of shape and yeah. colours and um, as Steve said, we've done them before, so some of you might be aware, but if you're not, then make sure you sign up to our newsletter, make sure you're subscribed to subscribe the Charter House to YouTube, TV yeah. channel and we will put out notification that a premiere video is going to go live, normally end of the week, 8, 9pm in the evening, so that most people are at home and in front of a device that they can take a seat, a seat and um, get a nice drink and yeah, yeah. just watch I mean, the nice we're, we're normally on the comments as well, so once that video is rolling, if you've got any questions, you can ask and we'll reply to them and give you a bit more information as well. That's it, yeah. So as I said at the beginning of the video, what's been happening, lots of new products have been released and you know we had a period of time, as I said, where um, not only was stock slightly effective, but affected, but there was also not loads of new products coming onto the market because people were concentrating on on other things. Luckily, that seems to have changed. Um, the last few weeks, we've had a real yeah, influx, a of, influx of, of, products. of new products. So I guess the first ones talk about Coral Compass, maybe. Yeah. Um, Coral Compass are a new supplier here in the UK, and they've brought on a couple of brands that you might be familiar with already. And a, and a new brand, and yeah, we've yeah. got all three of those brands on the show. All of now. those. I mean, one that's been really popular that they supply us with is Orfec Lighting. So they do the larger Atlantic uh, light units. And they're tile light. Yeah, like a tile luminaire um, LED. But also they do um, the strip lights as well, the Orfec strip Called lights. Called the OR3. OR3s. Um, they do uh, two different colours. Um, they do Reef uh, Day. Blue Plus a reef and a Reef, reef Day. Plus, yeah. um, and they do three different sizes, but they've been really popular since we've had those. Yeah, I mean, I think that a lot of people are either using them, whether it's sole lighting or supplementary yeah, lighting. Yeah, you can use them as like a hybrid unit. You can use them alongside other LEDs or with T5. Yeah. They just, they fit in really well. Yeah, I can't believe how, you know, we knew that 
they would be popular, but we've only had them for what a fortnight now, yeah, maybe something like that. Long. And you guys are going crazy for them. So if you aren't aware of uh, those lights already, then obviously check them out. Yeah, worth checking out. Um, they've also brought on board another brand that you might be familiar with, Coral Essentials, who are an Australian brand who produce um, additives and supplements and some foods, I believe, um, for any reef aquarium. And they also produce. Um, one of their most popular ranges, which is like a high concentrated version yeah. of all of their feeds, associated with sustainable reefs out in um, Australia. So lots of good research behind their products. So again, we'll put a link on the screen now. If you're not familiar with it from when we sold it before, check it out because I think it's a really nice brand. Yeah. And the last one, but exciting one. Yeah, Reef Factory. So it's a, a Polish product or a Polish company. Um, and just when we first saw it, we got a little bit excited about it. They'd make a range of products that um, are all Wi-Fi connected. So they'll connect via an app um, on your phone uh, through your Wi-Fi um, and they all integrate as one. So you can start off with one product or add multiple products yeah. and they will all show on the single app and basically will give you a, an idea of all different sort of things. They do a thermo control, uh, a level keeper or a, or to, or to A2O, ATO. Um, they also do level sensors, um, TDS, meters. TDS meters. They do a thermometer, pH and meters. all of these have got push push notifications. So if there if there's ever an issue, it will give you an alarm on your phone as well. Yeah, that's it. One of the things that I really like about this system, and don't get me wrong, we haven't quite set one up yet. There's a video coming soon that we're going to look in a little bit more detail at the brand and some of the products that they they produce, but. There's no need for a central computer to run any of these. So as Steve said, if you buy just like this product here, the thermo control, you can do your normal, put heaters on it, cooling and heating of your system via an app with no central computer, add a level keeper, same app, yeah. add a dosing pump, same app, add a pH TDS, same app. And talking to the guys at Coral Compass, there's some exciting new products coming as well. I think there's a new dosing pump, yeah, there's a dosing pump. It looks there's going to be a KH monitor. Yeah, which is kind of on trend at the minute. Salinity so. meter. It, there's all sorts of things, skimmers as well. So they're going. There's going to be a complete range. Yeah, that's it. So if you guys are already using some of the Reef Factory stuff, um, it'll be really great to hear your comments. See how you're getting on with it. So um, remember, just leave a comment below. Um, and if you're interested, obviously as always, head over to the website. Or as I said, hopefully video coming in the not too distant future. Yeah, also another product that we sell a lot of is the Nero 5, yes. the AI Nero 5, and they've just brought out its smaller sibling, the Nero 3. Yeah, so a power head that's been, like you said, very popular yeah. over the last 12 months. Um, and I think the Nero 3 has never been more appropriate to call it a smaller sibling. It's very similar pump, just smaller scale. So same app that you can yeah. use, same way of mounting, same small button controller but this one will do about seven and a half thousand liters yeah. and is now about 150 pounds so for a smaller system um or you know maybe not quite nano tanks it is controllable so maybe but certainly for smaller systems and at that price a really nice pump yeah. these smaller ones do come with the new fish guard as well the same as yes. the, the the bigger brother the uh, nero 5 that also has the fish guards put into the boxes now yeah it just well. keeps you keeps all of your tank inhabitants safe yeah. from any problems that might arise from going too close to a powerhead so another product that's uh, brand new that you might see sat next to steve over there is the new red sea salt boxes yeah so red sea have took the initiative to move over to uh boxes for refills uh so it's going to save you money as well as saving plastic for the environment obviously in this hobby we want to create as little plastic as possible so this is a good way to go um, so when you buy your salt the first time you can buy a bucket and then from that point just keep buying the box refills to refill it so, yeah so like steve said so plastic save money and um, they're really good to ship as well yeah. they ship much easier so um, i think good move from red sea certainly yeah. um, i know that a box of salt is probably not too exciting but red sea do have something very exciting which is just launched and that's a new re red sea reef led so you might already be aware that they do a Reef LED 50 and a 90, and they've just launched a Reef LED 160. So those numbers refer to the watts that those units put out. So 160, a larger light with significant spread. Yeah, and that 160, 160 watt, it gives you a real good spread. So you're going to get 
32 inch spread cube so it will penetrate 32 inches as well yeah so if you've got a really deep tank then it's going to be um, supplying that light right down to the bottom yeah, yeah. so all the same features as the old reef leds so reef the app connectivity that will also the other red sea products will play into um and two channels and the moonlight channel as well um single puck unit and red sea always thinking outside the box and really putting some thought process and design into their products they've kind of worked out that if you've got a larger tank, the lights might be mounted more high, so yeah. higher above the aquarium. So they're also producing a, a visor that will come with the light that just shields you from looking directly into what is a powerful LED cluster. And also on launch, um, they're going to be ha you're going to be able to purchase the light and you get a free mount with it. Not sure how long that will uh, last, but it's definitely a bonus. Yeah, nice offer. So if you're yeah. interested in the larger lights, or it's something that you've maybe been wanting or waiting for, then certainly now is the time. They are on the website right now to pre-order. By the time this video goes out, they may even actually be um, available mm -hmm. on the shelf. Um, sticking with lighting, uh, the new Tunzi LED has been launched. Yeah, I mean, this is something that I've seen recently the newer light and it really jumped out at me. They've made now a full spectrum um, LED light. These, I mean, looking at it, you might think, oh, it's just an LED light, but I think they've got some real good features to them. Uh, yeah. One being fully submersible. So yeah. the Which lights, is such a rare thing. Yeah, yeah, it's LED completely lights. waterproof. So they make a refugium light version. Yes, yeah, so I think there's there's four, there's exist, three existing already, is there? Yeah, three existing three? already. And they've just produced a new full spectrum light. Yeah. Um, but being fully submersible, the refugium light, you know, in a sump, in a cabinet, it's full of, you know, moisture, condensation. Yeah. Most lights, even if they are reasonably waterproof, are going to suffer. Yeah, yeah. But that one will just go yeah. in, no problem e at all. Even the principle of when you're in your sump, you sometimes haven't got space for a mount for a light yeah. to go over the top or how you suspend it. That can literally stick on the sidewall yeah. and light up any algae. And the fact that they're now moving that technology over to the actual lights for the main display aquarium can only be a good thing. Yeah, and the, and the, the full spectrum one, the one that really jumped, sort of made me look at the lights again, um, it's, so when it's running out of the water, it runs at 10 watts. But when you put it into the water or under the water line, it runs at 26 watts because the extra, the water's cooling the light down, the light knows that it's being cooled so it can produce more power. Yeah, so that's, that's a real big design feature, yeah. And I think the neatness for like little nano tanks and yeah. stuff like that, again, you haven't got to have that um, mount. I think it can be run with one of the Tunzi controllers. Yeah, so, control, yeah, yeah. 7000 or 7097 controllers. But it has got what you showed me, which is, again, I haven't seen before. You can scroll through the light Kelvin rating, yeah. I think from eight up to like 25K, yeah. using a magnet yeah, that strange, you, yeah. they use to mount on the side of the glass. So you just hover the magnet over the end of the light yeah, and it changes, and that the, changes spectrum. the spectrum. So yeah, pretty smart. I mean, we have got the prices. Uh, for, the, for the full spectrum one, they're around 120 pounds. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for a little I mean, nano for a little light, nano tank, like we were say, we were talking earlier, and like for a Flugel Evo or one of the little IM Peninsula tanks. Yeah, I mean, you could have it just under water level, yeah. and it would be seamless. Yeah. Again, any more information, head over to the website. We'll put a link down in the comments below. Um, and then we're going to just kind of rare for us, but something that we're conscious of. We're going to steer away slightly from the marine yeah. reef side of things and. Eheim filters, if any of you have kept fresh water before, you keep fresh water as well as marine. Or if you're watching the channel and pairing with us, thank you. Um, you're just a fresh water hobbyist. Eheim are a massive powerhouse in the external filter yeah. market. And they have produced very reliable German made products for a number of years. I've had a professional two running on a tank for a long, long time. Yeah, Not last, anymore, but probably, admittedly, yeah. but yeah, they literally last forever. This is now the Professional 5 series that they've produced and they've kind of dragged it kicking and screaming into the 21st <laughs> century. So this is also now, seems to be a theme actually, Wi-Fi, yeah. um, you've got a Wi-Fi app that you can play into the, into the filter itself. It will tell you um, maintenance schedules, so when things need to be changed. It will allow you to change the flow rate via that app. It will allow you, I think, even to do pulse modes and things like that. There's I think five or six models in the series. So um, again, a filter for... I think for an external filter, there's not... I can't think of any others that have those sort of no. you know, applications to them. That's and it. 
when you look at it, an external filter, that's something you probably would want that on there to know when you have to change things, to yeah, know yeah. the flow rate. I think so. this happened before with other brands and it's been like on a display screen yeah. or a light indication, but having a Wi-Fi yeah, app is, is, is something new. And you get, like I said, the Eheim reliability. They do produce a thermo model as well. Certainly in the Professional 4 Series, that was a real big seller for us. Yeah. Making that heater being able to remove from your display aquarium if you've got a fresh water tank, put it in the filter like you would a sump. Yeah. Keeps everything nice and neat. There'll be a video coming on these that we're going to do over the next couple of weeks, yeah. hopefully. So any room for right now, head over to the website, but video coming soon. Um, there are lots of other products that have been released, but um, remember, sign up to our newsletter, keep an eye on our website. But this is kind of a yeah, snapshot. Of obviously, if there's is. ever if there's a video that you want us to do or if there's a product you've seen and you want a little bit more information about it and you think it'd be worth us doing a video on, then just give us a shout. That's it, yeah. One thing that I do want to briefly mention, uh, for those of you that saw one of our latest videos, um, we featured a new brand to Charterhouse Reef Tech, who produce a bunch of fragging um, products. And we actually had a giveaway on that video. And we've announced a giveaway via social media and via our community. But if you didn't pick that up, um, the lucky winner, Alan Tucker, congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, thanks for everyone who entered um, remember on these videos, you have to like, comment and subscribe to yeah. be able to chance for winning. Some of you didn't do all three. There is another giveaway coming probably in a month or so's time. So remember to keep an eye on that. Make sure you're subscribed to even see that that's coming. And then make sure you're all three of those things to be able with a chance of winning the next giveaway. Yeah. As always, thanks for watching. As I said before, we're going to try and do these videos more regularly, kind of a Charterhouse uh, TV news um, vi video. So if you've got anything that you'd like us to feature, whether that be new products or industry news or things that are going on, as Steve mentioned before, make sure you uh, drop us a message or in the comments down below. As always, thank you for watching. Please everyone stay safe out there. We'll do our best to make sure that we can support you in any way possible. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. See ya.